feeling good today and uh, you know I knew it was going to be a fast pace and of course we were trying to get the record and stuff and you know I just tried to stay as close as I could. Once again I let a little too much of a gap curve for my Alberto taste but you know I definitely did better than I did last time when it came to gapping stuff and that was really my main goal just maintaining a spot and I think the last, I maybe should have made my move like 250 to go but like when I hit 200 I wanted to wait until the straightaway to make my move. I feel really good. Even though I feel really bad, I kind of like, you know, me and my chicken arms, I kind of like hit here. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And so later on when I see her, I'm really like, I'm really sorry. Was that a flat out effort or were you comfortable that last two months? I actually think I could have gone faster. I mean, you know, you never know. It depends on the race. But as I said, I, I think I mentally was like, with 400 to go, I was told if I felt good, make your move then. And I probably really didn't make my move until the last two. I think had I made it an all-out forward effort, I could have been maybe gotten it or been closer, like in the 234s. So I felt pretty good. Yeah. How did this go be a problem? Um, it definitely builds it up. Uh, you know, middle rows would feel so much easier with efforts like 800 meters because it'll be 210 rather than like two-minute peaks. What was our 800 split? Does anybody know? Oh, okay, okay. Because I was like, I was hoping maybe I could do like a two-minute and then just try to hold on, like see if that would work. But um, I feel really good. I'm really excited for Melrose, but more importantly, I'm excited for USA's. So. Oh, yeah, I mean, I was definitely obviously like trying to get the American record. You always want it. In the back of my mind, I was like, maybe the world won, but you know what I mean? It just it depends on the race. And I think one of my biggest problems is once the rabbit's gone, although I may feel good and the pace may feel really comfortable, like I haven't gotten to that point where I can still maintain it. I need to be, become a stronger holder. Because my kick is always there, but it's about maintaining the pace. Did it help to have Trainier in there with you? Oh, definitely. It was such a like comfort zone because, you know, had I been kind of out there alone with the pacer, you know, there's always that like maybe I shouldn't be here doubts. But when Trainier's with me, I'm like, I know I can do this. She's in amazing shape. You know, I'm right with her, so I felt really good. Definitely.